Hi everyone, this is Seth, Reddit user KK4TEE, and today I'm going to be showing off one of my uh, autopilot scripts for the Kerbal operating system plugin for KSP. So here we can see my grasshopper ship coming in from a low Kerbin orbit approach, uh, following its surface velocity vector. Um, as it realizes it's close enough to the landing pad to begin its final maneuvers, it's going to adjust its heading and turn its engine on to drop its surface speed down to the point where it's pointing much closer to the landing pad. Uh, the current target is about a third of the distance from the rocket to the landing pad up in altitude so that that way we don't come in screaming at a 45 degree angle onto the launch pad. Um, so it's a little bit wobbly as it's fine tuning its course and uh, I also need to do some uh, tuning of the PD uh, algorithm that handles the thrusters. but. After a couple of cycles, it balances out. So you can see the surface velocity, which is the blue arrow, is starting to fall below the target. Um, and this is because we're not running our thrusters at uh, full thrust pushing up. We're just kind of letting the ship fall towards the ground and then nudging the course as we can. Now the yellow line is the arrow that points straight from the ship center of mass to the landing site. So as long as the blue arrow is somewhat above that, we're doing okay. Now as we get closer to the landing site, the tolerances are going to be getting much, much tighter. So right now, everything is pretty loose, we're tied, we're, we're 20, 30 degrees off of the velocity ve anti-velocity vector, um, but as, as we get closer, those margins will start to, to tighten up. But we're currently falling a little bit slower than terminal velocity, uh, and this is because the engine is running um, at about 27%. Now I'm going to be adding some code in so that the engine doesn't bounce around quite as much as it currently is, which is a little unrealistic, so that way if the uh, engines try to cut off, they'll stay on at idle. Now as we come in for final approach here, closing in to less than a kilometer, the ship is going to tighten up and start pitching up. Now we're coming in a little bit long, so it's going to start pitching back to cancel out its surface speed. We're going to overshoot just a little bit, and then it's going to rebound back. Uh, for a nice gentle touchdown and it's time so that we touch down at just half a meter per second BAM! Perfect! That took a lot of tries. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll be making some more updates soon and uh, we'll get a full deorbit script going on and I'll show that when it's ready. Thanks for watching, KK4TEE, signing off.